Kristen. But for surrogate mothers can help bring a bundle of joy to couples who otherwise cannot have children on their own. However, the legal agreements between surrogates and biological parents can force both sides to make difficult choices. Meet a surrogate who made a decision that led her to Michigan when the parents suggested abortion. Crystal Kelly was thrilled when a couple hired her to be their surrogate and carry their baby. She said, pray for a little girl. I want a little girl. Ultrasounds halfway through Kelly's pregnancy showed the baby girl growing inside her had severe heart defects, a brain abnormality, and other medical problems. They said she had a less than 25% chance of being able to have a normal life. Inside Hartford Hospital in Connecticut, the parents, heartbroken, asked Kelly to have an abortion. I refused. I couldn't do it. I was the one who was feeling her kick and squirm. I knew she had a fighting spirit, and I wanted to fight for her. But the parents pleaded with Kelly to let their baby go. They said that they didn't want to bring a baby into the world only for that child to suffer. They said that I should try to be godlike and have mercy on the child and let her go. The parents made the single mom with tight finances a $10,000 offer to end the pregnancy. Kelly countered with a 15 grand offer, and when that negotiation broke down, the parents said they would give the baby up. I'm not going to let her become one of those forgotten disabled kids that gets lost in the system. So Kelly secretly left the state pregnant with their baby. Packed up my van with everything that I could carry, threw my kids in the car. And we drove for two days to Michigan. Under Michigan law, Kelly would be the baby's mother. I can't tell you how many people told me that I was bad, that I was wrong. Kelly gave birth in Michigan last June, and here's the baby today. She's eight months old, and Kelly found a family to adopt her. Along with her cleft lip and palate and misshapen ear, she has severe brain and heart problems. She'll need several risky surgeries to survive, but in many other ways, she's just like other babies, smiling and grabbing for toys. She's still a happy little girl who's going to bring joy into the lives of everyone who knows her. It gives me a lot of joy, and I know that every single thing that I did was worth it. And we didn't release the names of the baby or her biological parents or even her new parents, of course, to protect their privacy. Yeah, baby's got a long road ahead of her, but we heard the surrogate, Crystal yeah. Kelly, say that she wanted to give the baby a chance. But I know you mentioned there, and some people have been concerned when they've heard this story, that the, the family offered her $10,000 yes. to abort the pregnancy, but then Crystal kind of upped the ante and said, for 15 maybe I would do it. Yes, I mean, she is a single mom. She is on hard financial times, and so she said she entertained the idea for a while, but immediately immediately felt bad after she did is what she told the reporter and you then know. she said she wouldn't do it after that so right. but there are specific contracts with surrogacy and if we were reading right I believe one of them specified if there were any birth defects that the parents can make that request and that she was to agree but she, she just, did not she just didn't 